Okay, so can we guys start? Good morning, Aradna. Good morning, everyone. So why do we say good morning? To everyone. To uh, just start our day on a happier note, on a more pleasant note. Pleasant. So it's a start is good morning, but by the time the day comes, uh, progresses. How is it? <laughs> what can I be or do different today so that I start on this on on a note of creating a good day, and I continue on the same note till the end of the day, until the end of the week, and everything that does not allow me to have a good or great week will you now destroy and uncreated once and for all for all eternity right wrong good bad 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 and everything that does not allow me to see the goodness and the magic and miracles of what shows up today will you now destroy and uncreated once and for all right wrong good bad 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 because it is not not that uh, life doesn't give you amazing things it does universe gives you beautiful beautiful things but are you ready to see it are you ready to even perceive it that way or uh, if you have so many judgments <clears throat> all you can see is what is going wrong or why this didn't work instead of uh, what is what's the beauty of what's happening does that make sense yeah yeah awesome. so everywhere i'm focusing my energies on what i do not want and how bad and pathetic my life is will you now just once and for all for all eternity right wrong what for call nine truths boys and girls what can i be to start refocusing from this week on all the good things and grateful for all the magic that shows up and just be grateful for the air that i breathe and everything that does not allow you to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all for all eternity yeah. right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and <clears throat> it is still few people joining um so what do we do in life we 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 uh, i started this call by saying good morning good morning to everyone so let's not only have a good morning let's have a great week so we we wish everyone good because we want goodness and when someone asks how are you what do you guys say doing good doing good yeah i'm good we don't say i'm not feeling good i'm not so why why because we actually want it to be that way and there is a power to every word you say so even if something is not going right and uh, life is like that it's not like everything will be perfect and everything will be like awesome unless you choose it then it can be that way too but mostly it's like ups and downs and things like that so what if i just start by saying i am good and then it starts will you guys for the next one week can we eliminate the words i'm okay or i'm just normal and all that and start saying i'm great and amazing to yourself and to others so when someone asks me how are you usually i say i'm awesome and then uh, they they or i'm amazing these are the two words i usually say and then they're like okay what's that where is it coming from so will you do that to yourself yeah because you have to first acknowledge yourself then only anyone else can acknowledge you so let what can i be to acknowledge the greatness of who i am without a need for anyone else to acknowledge it and everything that does not allow you to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy the creative ones and for all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots poison beyonds so what can i be or do different today to acknowledge the greatness that i truly am so i do not need anyone else to acknowledge my me and everything that does not allow you to know be perceive and receive, you know right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots poison beyonds okay. so what can i be or do today to start my day on a great note and continue the same note the whole week irrespective of what happens around me. and everything that does not allow me to know be perceive receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all 
Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad. Yes. Yeah. Okay, for anyone who's uh, for the on the call for the first time, if you've not heard of uh, right, wrong, good, bad, I will uh, send a link at the end of the call for you to get an understanding what that is. And whenever I say, will you destroy and uncreate it? Just please say yes. You can say yes in your mind or you can say yes out loud and you will see things will start changing. Uh, that's the power of words. What if you are the most powerful creature in your universe? Which is true, guys. Uh, so everyone who likes films and watches the films and looks at the movie stars, let's come to this. In the movie of life, you are the protagonist. You are the hero, you're the hero and you're everything. So everything that does not allow you to acknowledge that you are the star of your own life. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Right, wrong, good, bad, bad, yes. bad. Poison yes. And what happens in the end of the movies, the hero always wins. Whatever happens, uh, even if there's drama or something or the other. So all you will definitely, this is your life, so you can change everything and you'll definitely win. There is uh, something in Access, it says, now when you are that powerful and you can create your life, you don't actually lose. But do you give up? You give up before you succeed. And that's what most of you might have done. If there's something that has not worked for you in your life, whether it's your job, whether it is your business, uh, whether you gave up something, if you had continued it, you might, you would have succeeded. But then sometimes we give up before we succeed. So everywhere, you still would like to give up, but you know that you can succeed. You know, destroy and uncreate once and for all and choose to succeed so much. And everything that does not allow you to know, be perceived, see that, will you now destroy it and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pork, all nine yes. Yes. So, um, uh, can I ask a question? Yes, Kanika. Hi, good morning. morning. Uh, yeah, what's the difference between giving up and getting bored? Giving up and getting bored. Um, getting bored is I've done too much of this. This is not exciting for me. Giving up is like deciding I can't do this anymore. And sometimes we, we, uh, Confuse both. That's why I've done this so many times uh, that I'm bored, ab bored about, bored of it. But it would have been something that gave you a lot of money or revenue, or it would have made sense for someone else. But just because you get bored of it, you might stop it. So boredom stops creation. And uh, what I heard from uh, Bagya is, Bagya Mayas, um, life never gets boring. Every moment is different. Every minute is different. So when it gets boring is when I'm not present when I can't perceive the difference of what today is and then I'm still in the yesterday, when did it get bored? I did something yesterday, I did the same thing today. So that means I'm still in the yesterday and I'm still connecting with, I did this yesterday, uh, so it is so boring to do it again. You didn't see it for what it is today because the time has changed, something has changed. If not anything else, the time has changed. So how can it be the same? So everywhere I confuse myself saying that I'm bored and I stop my creation. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Yes. Right, wrong, yes. good, bad, 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 all nine shots, boys and girls. And this is how, this is a beautiful question which I like to ask every day. And uh, in the last three morning calls, this is the question with which we started. How much fun can I have today with everything that shows up? And everything that does not allow me to be the fun and creativity with everything that shows up, will you now destroy and create it once? Yes. yes. Call nine shots, boys and girls. So I have to do an office meeting. This is a Monday meeting I do. It's literally happening every Monday. Um, I can go with the attitude that I'm so bored. Same thing, same thing. <laughs> or I can go with how much fun can I have today? What difference can I make today in this meeting? Everything that does not allow me to know, be perceive and receive that, will you destroy and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 call nine shots, boys and girls. And, and this moment is so precious, Kunika. It doesn't come back. If I say I'm bored this moment and I let it go, I never get this back. That's the, that's the truth of life. This, so that if we see in this 10 seconds how precious this moment is, and I only make this moment real, this 10 seconds, it is so amazing. And in this 10 seconds, if I just live this 10 seconds, life doesn't get bored. Only when I'm living in the past and I've already done this, or someone, someone else's point of view, they say, this is such a boring thing to do. And then I'm like, it's, it's so boring for them, so it should be boring for me. When you talk about uh, having fun, is it is it about adding something to it? Is it about you're changing a mindset in terms of you know the choices to have fun, but then 
what is fun here fun is is it adding something that you're having fun or are you changing something uh n- not necessarily this, this is when let's uh, look at it this way um either do what you like or like what you do there are two ways of having fun so if i like doing this this call is really fun for me i really enjoy doing this and it it gives me so much and then there's the office call which is not as fun as this <laughs> but when i go with how much fun can i have with the office too like what you do and if every moment you're not liking what you do you're losing a bit of life itself where does life flow in 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 this whole creativity of you so even when i uh, i think that in gary's how to become money workbook it's written even if you clean the toilets clean it with fun be creative do it with happiness and then what happens that happiness that fun that energy of creativity enables you to create so much more and it comes with so much ease and that is the mindset that uh, that that is what we have to change it's not defining this is fun for me this is not fun for me how many of you have decided exercise is not at all fun for you and then you hate exercising and then you don't exercise <laughs> everything that brought up and let down will you destroy and create it all right wrong good bad pot pork all nine just boys and girls but exercising is good instead of that yeah yeah neeta you did that okay instead of that what if we <laughs> say body how would you like to move with fun and everything that does not allow me to have fun with this movement i destroy and right wrong good bad pot pork all nine shots boys and beyonds so everything that does not allow you to be the energy of fun and everything that you do today spontaneously or planned will you now destroy and create it once and for all for all it right wrong good bad pot pork all nine shots boys and beyonds and what if the even more fun part is the more you are happy and the more you have fun the more you'll get money So uh, I know Madhu is here. She makes skin products, and she makes them so amazing. So what she does is, they put a lot of love, creativity when you're making that product. It is fun for you to make that, and then it sells amazingly well. And this is the initial times when you start your business or job. First few days are fun. First few days when you start the business, I'm so happy with something new. I'm trying out something new. This is different, and that's when it starts taking off. And then after some days, it's like I'm too bored. This business is. I've done it so long. I've set it up. and then your money starts dipping have you guys noticed that yeah so everything that brought up and let down will you destroy right wrong good bad mm-hmm. so this is when we have to uh, sorry neeta one second this is when we have to learn every day to bring back the fun to to not let it go because everything you do in life in the end what was it for to have fun i want to earn money to have fun i want to talk to my friend to have fun i'm going to a party to have fun i'm sitting at home and not talking to people because that is fun for me. so everything is for the fun but then you add you think out think your fun what do we do but is this really fun for me is this what i want to do should i not be doing something better can i not do something more perfect uh, is this is this really fun for me so uh, what if everything you do is just fun if you don't think it will be more fun it's fun for your body if you don't think so everything you're doing to outthink yourself to convince yourself that you don't have fun at all will you now destroy and create it once and for all for all yes. strong with bad pot pop all nine shots poison and what can i be or do different to have so much fun this week irrespective of what shows up right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots poison and what is the fun you can be so happy but then immediately someone from outside will come and say oh no you did this wrong and then you're so happy and you're like yeah and then your mo- mother says immediately something this is what you should do this is how life is and you're not left alone you're like something or the other will intervene correct so that the fun in is in responding to that and this is what i said for the last two calls respond to a situation in life it is not that we will have uh, all good things that's why in access they say all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory so if someone comes in between and says okay Uh, this is not the way you should do why don't i respond by saying okay how does it get better interesting point of view they have this point of view what else is possible just three basic tools all of them are designed for you to respond not to react but what do i do i'm like so happy and then suddenly someone uh, comes and tells me like yesterday i was like so happy i was like listening to this call and i was like i'm having so much fun and then mom called me and said the water machine is not working <laughs> now it's like that is not fun for me i don't want to repair the machine i don't want to do that so that is a reaction so what i did is i said okay how much fun can i have with this and then i went uh, and then i looked at the machine for 2 minutes and then i came back i listened to my call for 2 minutes and then i went back and then looked at the machine again and then came back 
but I did something and I fixed the machine and I did whatever was required. But that was fun. Rather than focusing on, I'm fixing a machine, this is like not fun, what can I do here? So every time you ask a question and make everything fun for you, that's the beauty of life. Until it changes, you can change everything around you, but until it changes, let me have fun with what is. Let me receive everything as is and have fun. So what can I be to respond to every situation in life today instead of reacting? And everything that does not allow me to respond with ease, will you now destroy an uncreated one? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, yes. point, all yes. Yes. And every situation that happens today that triggers me, what can I be to be an interesting point of view for that trigger so that I'm no longer triggered and I create something greater for today and the rest of the week? And everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive, and receive, that, will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. yes. I drop yes. that word for all interest okay. Are you getting it, guys? Very simple. So I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm happy. Suddenly, I get something that uh, triggers me. Suddenly, someone sends an email. I know Gopi is there. Gopi and me get all these bad emails. Uh, suddenly, someone sends you an email that you have to get this done. It's, let me say, how does it get better than this? How much fun can I have with this too? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pork, all nine shots, poison. Health. Instead of going, this is boring for me. This is not what I would like to do. Do you know what is uh, really fun for you? <laughs> a lot of us don't know. We are like, uh, cooking is not fun. Cleaning is not fun. Going to office is not fun. Uh, playing with my kid is not fun because it tires me. Then what is fun? <laughs> everything that does not allow you to have fun with everything and discover what truly you desire to do in life. Will you notice me? Right, wrong, good, bad. And everywhere you have to define what your fun is so that you can never have the fun of this moment. Will you notice? Know right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pork, all nine shots. Anita, did you have a question? No. I was saying yes to that. Thank you so much. Okay, so are we ready to have a fun week? Yeah. And life definitely. is for the fun of it, not, not only today. Uh, and that's the reason I run this on Monday morning, so that the whole week, Monday is usually the most unfun day for all those who are working. Okay, cool. Any, any questions from anyone? Yeah. Am I audible? Can you talk a bit more louder? What now? now? Yeah, now it's better. Yeah. So uh, I just want to know that, yeah, creativity is present is nice, but all the time, like, uh, I don't know, is it awareness or I'm trying to think and be present? I'm not able to get the difference because it's kind of creating pressure on me to be present all the time. Uh, okay. If you pressure yourself self to be present, you're not being present. How much fun can I have with learning the art of being present? And everything that does not allow that will you okay. destroy. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 bad. So anything you make, uh, I'm going to mute you because you say, guys, I'm going to mute everyone. I think there is some noise. So if you want to talk, please um, unmute yourself. Yeah, there's an option for you guys to unmute yourself also. But um, okay, so. I know that I have to be present. That's what we are hearing. That's what everyone is talking about. And I put so much stress on myself that I'm not that. I'm not yet there. I'm not perfect. Here, I'm not present. You make it a judgment. You don't have to be perfect. Instead, how much fun can I have with learning to be present? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pork, all nine shots, poison years. And what if I can be present just for the fun of it and for no other reason? Not because I have to be perfect. I have to live the best life. I know I'm like great. I have to prove myself to me. Anything you make significant will start dipping. Look at your business. Same example that I gave. First, first day you did it for the fun of it. I started my business just for fun. This, the Reiki class and all it was like so much happiness it was giving me. I was like, I can do something. I can teach someone something. And I would talk about it for hours and hours. When, when I met Gopi in US, uh, we just talked about Reiki. And then after that, he just came and did my Reiki class. It was like that. It was like, this is so amazing. That, that's the energy with, which, with the f energy with which I could explain the business which I was doing. And then uh, later, when you start uh, making it serious, oh no, now the business has to make more money. It is not about 
uh, teaching this one person it's about like doing something so perfect it's about spreading so much it's about reaching out so much and then you made it so significant that it stops your creation so don't make anything significant your life is a joke laugh at yourself and if i'm not present if you know you're not present that's a gift okay i'm aware i'm not present how do i change this i'm aware that i have not been present have fun with it it is not uh, wrong to not be present and it's not wrong for you to sleep once in a while it is not, nothing is wrong so it's not don't try to find what is right in life and decide that being present is uh, the right thing but being present is magical it's the most magical thing ever and it's a muscle to build so if if you want to exercise and flatten your tummy it doesn't happen in a day does it it doesn't happen in a minute so it will take time but every day this is what i like to tell myself if i've moved one step forward every day then i'm like happy then i'm like wow i have moved one step forward and even if i know today that i'm not being present what is that an awareness that i have to change something that is still a step forward so it doesn't matter how much forward you move as long as you're moving forward so basically probably i'm not able to celebrate my small victories so okay let me tell you that uh, rajeshwari if you don't celebrate the small victories the small ones will also stop. is that what you want <laughs> if you celebrate the small ones the bigger ones will come okay and, and see you are uh, whether you guys know it or not or understand it or not you are so unique and different and you are a gift so you yourself are a miracle you don't need miracles outside of you to prove that you're a miracle when you breathe i'm i'm letting out oxygen sorry very bad at biology Bi forgot biology not bad at biology for bible you're breathing in oxygen and letting out carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is enough for one tree to live so even if you're alive you're contributing you're never not a miracle you're never not contributing you never not helping or empowering somebody uh, if even if you don't talk to any people your breath is helping the trees just as they are helping us so that is enough for you to celebrate for you to say wow i'm breathing my breath is helping someone that is more than enough when you acknowledge that tiniest thing which we take for granted then the universe gives you bigger things bigger things and then you you attract more things but if i don't acknowledge this and and let's talk about this need for acknowledgement no one outside is going to acknowledge you and come and tell you that you are good and don't expect it from them because when you know you're good you don't need it from them and when you're needless that is the power you have i am damn needless when you're needless everyone will like you and that's easier <laughs> because you don't have a need and whoever doesn't like you who cares whoever doesn't acknowledge you have to acknowledge the greatness within you and let me uh, in access there is this is what i know everything that you have today you guys have something today even if you have nothing that is something even if i don't have anything you have not, the, that is something that you have everything you have today you have created it so if you were unaware and you created so much imagine when you're happy and when you are in the energy of creativity what more can you create so everything you have today you have created the good the bad the ugly and i'm sure there are few things even if you've created such a bad pathetic life let's acknowledge i am i am so good at creating a bad life so now <laughs> i would like to create something better so everything you have created and how do we uh, change this by knowing that you create your life and every moment be as happy and as creative as you can be we are not here to to just make the money or to work hard or you know uh, whatever you guys think you are here for or to just take care of your family whatever makes you feel bored or heavy or this is not where i want to be you that's not what you are here for you are here to have fun and the fun is in the creativity each one of you uh, whether you creatively sing or whether you draw or whether for me my creativity is in my talking okay i'm not like this big uh, artist and singer and all that types but it's in the talking like how creatively i make up stories how creatively i um, you know i just i'm so spontaneous and uh, things like that so that's when i realized you don't have to be an artist or something to be creative you can be as dumb as me and just talk that is also creativity so when you acknowledge what is your creativity and start being in that energy of creating and you're in the energy of creativity when you're happy so let me creatively cook 
who told who told me cooking is boring i think that but am i not cooking for my body to be happy can i not cook with ease can i not sing when i cook can i not make it fun for me so how that's so that's where we come back to how much fun can i have with everything i do today right wrong good bad pot pock all night just partners and rajeshwari when you're happy mostly you're present okay <laughs> when i'm happy i'm here i'm in my body i'm like yay and i'm present when i get into am i not present i'm not being present why am i not being present you're no longer happy you're no longer present presence is not being present is not at all hard if i'm happy i'm here the minute i'm not happy i'm in my past what happened yesterday what happened uh, day before what happened 5 okay. uh, years ago or i'm in the future i have not yet got this but this is not yet come i've been asking for this it is not yet changed yeah <laughs> right so presence is not at all hard <laughs> and it's happiness <laughs> and and uh, what i realized is um, the biggest gift the earth we're all here and we get so much from it. yeah i'm going to mute you guys in case you guys don't know let me just give you a quick two liner of what and all you get from earth the air without the air we cannot live the water uh then the beauty of uh, the flowers and the smell and the rain so everything earth gives us and these are given to us for free water is now getting uh, paid that's a different story but they were meant to be for free so uh, air is still free thank the and i every day i hope i i just uh, thank that we get, we are getting fresh and free air <laughs> because nowadays people are wearing masks but anyway uh, pardon pock that right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and girls so when the earth gives us so much why why don't we give back to the earth when you're getting so much to be grateful for what can we give back to the earth only your laughter that is the only gift that's the greatest gift you can give Uh, the planet it's nothing more is expected it doesn't expect you to take care of it or save it or uh, do this for me or do that for me or give me money earth doesn't require money at all nature just thrives with or without money it's only we who say that money i require money for this and that right so what if your laughter is the biggest gift that you can give that is the best contribution you can be and when you laugh all the time and this is why today morning i had posted what did i post i posted i was looking at someone and i was like this person is so stupid you know i was like this person is really stupid they're not getting things they are so dumb and all and later one day you realize it is you who was stupid if you if you judge someone to be stupid 100% you are stupid so then i realized okay it was me who was stupid and then i started laughing at it so what if you can laugh at your own mistakes take life as a joke then things can change then anything can change and when i mean when i say laugh at things it's not that today for after this call for 5 minutes i laughed then after that i stopped laughing and then after that tomorrow i stopped laughing it's not like that the more you laugh the more you're grateful things can change so focus on all the good things there are there may be so many bad things happening true but there will be at least few good things right so if you can refocus on the good things and if you can respond so in office there'll be something saying that there was something that showed up that said you have to finish this project within a week and then i was like that's impossible i usually don't say impossible but i was like in a week and i went and told uh, my manager it's not going to happen in a week and all and he's like we can't say that we should not tell anyone that we can't do it in a week he's afraid of his boss but i said this is not possible what do you mean i can't say if i say it's possible i have to i don't think i'll be able to do it even if i uh, laugh so much or i die so much it's not possible this is not the feasible timings but i said i don't think i can do it whatever even if you give me eight people or 10 people it's not doable in a week so i said we shouldn't say that then i said what should we say we'll say we'll do it okay and then in the end of the week we'll go say we couldn't do it and i was like <laughs> okay so then i said how do how do i respond to the situation what can i be so that this changes some question and then uh, they themselves uh, the the other team who wanted us to do it in a week they themselves came and said we don't want you guys to do it so we didn't have to do it anyway so you don't have to take pressure only when you look at a situation and react to it and i say oh my god this is going to be so hard in a week i can't do this at all this is going to kill me this is going to pressurize me how many of us do that so everywhere you've done that been that done that and everywhere you've aligned with that and agreed with that and decided what is fun for you and also decided that what you have now is not at all fun will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all for all eternity
right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, poisonous. And everywhere I've decided that I lack something so much that I ask with so much desperation. Will you now destroy non created once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, poisonous. This is a trick. When you ask the universe something, you have to ask with fun. You should you do you cannot ask with desperation and expect it for it to happen. Oh no, my job is so bad. Universe, please give me a new job. I'm begging you to give me a new job. We don't use these words, but the energy with which you say it is, oh no, this is so pathetic. And then it delays the process. The universe will still give it to you because in all that four months of asking for a new job or thinking for a new job, once you would have been happy. Once you would have thought, I know I'll get it. And that is enough for you to get it. But all this uh, process of, you know, feeling bad about anything, feeling bad about anything for any 10 seconds makes you delay your whole life. And when the universe is so big and the only thing it would like to do is gift you what you ask. You're playing with something like that. That is your partner. When you're playing with something like that, why we are asked, why we tell ourselves to be present is, why would you play lesser when I have the whole universe supporting me for everything and just giving me whatever I ask? For what reason do I have to be unhappy? For what reason do I have to worry? For what reason should I be less? Is there any reason to be lesser? No. And when, when, you, when you are at your best is when you're being yourself and everyone is here to be themselves. So it's not for me to become like this person, not for me to become like that person. That's the reason I look different. All of us look different. All of us have different type of bodies. That's why we were created. We were created to be uniquely different. So there is no question of why am I not like that other person? Why is my life not like theirs? But we, we have that comparison, which is not at all required. And how do you be yourself? My, my uh, knowing is if you feel light, when you're feeling good, when your body is like so light, when you're happy, when you're grateful, these are times when you're being yourself. And when you be yourself, wherever you go, everyone will kind of like you. Even in, uh, when I go to these corporate offices and I'm like, I'll just be, it, it, it just feels light for me to say, this is not what I want to do. And everyone will respect that. But if I, if I, I'm like trying to hide or say, I don't want to do this. Uh, this is not what I, what, what is the right thing I should say? How many of you think so much to say the right thing? And in the end you end up saying the wrong, wrong thing. Then I waste all my energy in what? In trying to think the right thing. And you can't think the right thing. You just have to be, you just have to be yourself. So then I end up saying the wrong thing. So what if, and being yourself is the most easiest thing. Being that lightness and joy is much easier than wasting my energy in what should I say here? What should I do here? What will this person, uh, will this person listen to me? Uh, will this person not listen to me? Did I do it right? So everywhere you doubt yourself in whatever you'd be and do, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, poison, beyonds. How many of you like to doubt yourself? You know what to do and then you're like, what if it goes wrong? So there's, there's another, another voice in your head always saying, you'll get it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Most of us, yeah. So will you, will you let go of that doubt just for today? Just for today? What can I be to celebrate myself so much and to not indulge in my own self-doubt? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive and receive that, will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. On good, bad, pot, pot, today. So what can I be or do different? Yes. So for the whole week, I don't indulge in my own self -doubt. Everything that is time to cause for all, for all eternity. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot. All nine shots, boys and beyonds. So again, what can I be to acknowledge the gift that I truly am so I don't have a need for anyone else or anything else to acknowledge me? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive and receive that, will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Everywhere I've defined what fun is and what boredom is and I keep on thinking whether I have fun or whether I'm bored, instead of just enjoying the moment, being in the moment and having fun about everything that shows up for the whole week. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, online shots, boys and beyonds. So and you guys- yeah, I have a, Sorry, I had a question, go ahead. 
Please, please tell me. Yeah. Uh, I was just saying, like the other day, a uh, couple of calls back, I had asked you that um, about a job. Uh, I'm constantly putting out my ask and everything. Um, like I said, as of now, there's nothing yet. Not that there'll not be. Uh, but this constant chatter that I get from other people, uh, like I told you, uh, is is not stopping. It's like every time I speak to someone, there is obviously an interesting point of view that, um, you know, hey, these are difficult times. People are losing their jobs. You're expecting to get one. That's not going to happen or uh, not what you want. Um, so, so you uh, need to lower yeah. your uh, expectations. Um, no. So I just immediately then say, you know, hey, interesting point of view. Yes. That's your point of view. I keep saying that. But um, it's like somewhere it does seep in for a minute and it does worry me. And then, of course, I try to send it back to the sender. Um, but uh, I just really think, you know, for me to be completely present and to um, actualize my ask, that oh little bit also shouldn't be there for me. So um, any suggestion on what I can do? Yeah, so you are doing the you are actually on the right track. Keep saying interesting point of view. I have this point of view until you're not triggered by it anymore. Uh, and you will get that it's a muscle to build. But we can try this everywhere. You're still getting triggered by what others say instead of trusting your own knowing to a different level. Will you now destroy and create it all? Right on. Yes. You know you will get it. You know you've created it. You know you create your life. So where is this question of what other people say is even true for me? And why does it seep in? Because the trust on self is not that high. Yeah. The acknowledgement of self is not. And when you're in the energy of uh, I am awareness, what does it mean? I'm aware that when I ask the universe, the universe is such a powerful partner. It's playing so big and I am playing such a big game. So when I'm aware that this is what I'm saying, I don't have to make myself lesser even for time. What you ask may not happen today itself. But when I make time so big and said it's not yet happened, I've asked for three days, I've asked for four days, then what happens? It delays the process. So everywhere you're making time so significant and everywhere you're not acknowledging your own awareness in favor of what other people say. Will you now destroy and create one for all all at once? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Everywhere you're not willing to acknowledge your own awareness in favor of what other people say, even though you know what they say is not true. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity and learn to be in your own awareness and follow your awareness for the fun of it. Everything that does not allow you to know, be perceive and receive that, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, pot, pot. This is also some people make it so significant. They're like, I have so much awareness now. I understand awareness. So I have to be aware and make the right choice. And guess what? If you say, I'm so aware, I'll make the right choice. You're in judgment. You're not in awareness. When you're thinking, you're not in awareness. And if you say, I have to make the right choice, you're, all, you're in double judgment. You're even in more judgment. So what can I be to know and follow my awareness for the fun of it and live life for the adventure and fun that it can truly offer me and everything that does not allow you to know, be perceive and receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what can I be today to have, to have fun with everything that shows up or to make what shows up fun for me? Either way, I end up having fun. And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive, receive that and have fun every moment today. Will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, online, shots, poison, yours. And what can I be to infect all the other boring people around me with more fun and consciousness? And everything that does not allow you to perceive and receive that, will you destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, online, I had a question, Nitya. Yes, please. Yeah, um, like you said, we we basically do at that moment whatever comes within us, with or without awareness, we may react or respond either way. Correct. So, saying that, what if something goes totally against what we 
I mean, whatever is given to us, we didn't, we don't expect that. And it's totally against what we wanted it to be or would like to be or whatever, whatever. It just went in the other direction. We did what we thought we felt. Mm. But at that point in time, how do we, again, respond or react or just back off? I mean, what should our state more than anybody else? What should our very own state of mind be at that point in time? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No. Yeah. I muted myself. Okay. So we're all infinite beings. So even then, how does it get better? And what if you thought that was uh, the best thing or that was what you could have got, but the universe has better plans for you. The universe always uh, is there to give you something better than what you can imagine. So it is my expectation that let me down because I expected it to be this way. So you just give it your best and trust the universe. Even if something seems to dip and go so wrong, uh, I have seen it so many times. Behind that, the next situation, it will be so much better. So it would be like, this is my uh, dream company. I want a job here when I used to look for jobs and I would really want this. And that uh, it has not been that I've not cleared interviews, but um, somehow uh, that job did not fall through. They said, uh, when I was looking, uh, they, they said that, uh, yeah, they blacklisted me. They said, you came four times and you didn't join something like that. So I didn't get that job. So instead of going like, I wanted a job now and I was looking for a job uh, because the universe, my friend came and told me like, why don't you get a job? You'll get more money. Why don't you get a job? And he told six, seven times. Then I said, okay, why not? Why not I look for more money? So, uh, and it wasn't desperate. It's not that, that I require a job. But then that company didn't come through. And then I said, okay, how does it get better? So I got even a better opportunity, even a better package. So sometimes we think that this is, you know, the best thing, but it's not. The universe always has something better. Now, if we go down with that energy, we stop our creation. But if we respond, we say, okay, maybe this was not meant for me, but there's something greater. How does it get better? Then better things show up. Even I was uh, trying to buy this house. I saw this house so pretty and it was like everything I was asking for. And it was just uh, too high in uh, the budget. And it's not that I couldn't create the money, but I was like, why would I want to, you know, I don't want to pressurize myself. For, my, for me, life is easy. Even for money, I don't want to pressurize myself. So I let, I let that go. And I said, okay, how does it get better? In a matter of one month, I found another house that was even better than the previous one. It was even lesser expensive. So it just falls in place. So the universe, and even if there's nothing like a lost opportunity, even if that one thing is gone, in, in the next day, we have so many infinite opportunities to get something better. And since we are creating everything, the more I am and how does it get better? How does it get better? How does it get better? Good thing, sure. But even for the more I get into, oh no, this didn't work. Why didn't this work? Uh, things don't work that way. And it's okay. Let, don't be hard on yourself. Like Rajeshwari was saying, I'm not present. Don't be hard on yourself at all. If you do think I can't do it, because we're so used to one way of thinking for uh, the whole of our life. So it's okay if I still go there and still think it may not happen. The more faster I get out of it, the more happier I am, the more easier the universe can give to me. And sometimes uh, we just think this is what I want. But maybe that's not what you really want. What you really want is something much more. So even, in, even for relationships, you would say the same thing. I mean, like for a job, like, like job, home, like you said, even when it comes to people, relationships, then we really, accept. Go ahead. Just uh, No, I said even when it comes to relationships, so do we accept certain things then if they're not going the way we want it to go? See, relationships, what I understand is all about you. How is the relationship with yourself? Do you acknowledge yourself that much? Do you really trust yourself so much? Do you love yourself so much? Then only anyone else can give it from you. If I don't like one part of me, if I don't like the part in my office, which is like, uh, which has to be a manager in demand, there'll be four or five people telling me, telling that I'm not good at that because that is what I am reflecting. So always work on the relationship with yourself. Everyone outside of you is giving you feedback of how your relationship with yourself is. And if everyone doesn't like you, one or two people say you're not good and you get hurt by it, you still not learn to love yourself completely. There is still one part of you which you are not in allowance. 
and in access we don't say acceptance acceptance is like giving up and saying this won't change but rather than looking at the other person what i go is i say what can what in me can i change for this to change right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots poison yards what what in me can i change how much can i respect myself so that others respect me how much can i respect myself so i don't need respect from others but in turn others respect me and everything that does not allow me to know be perceive and receive this i now destroy and uncreate it once and for all for all eternity right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots poison yards always work on the relationship with self your foundation with yourself has to be that strong and if you can abuse yourself what is abusing yourself if you can say uh, i don't like the way i look i am not perfect i was not present it's all self abuse self judgment is all self abuse if you can judge yourself for even the smallest thing 100% there will be one or two people who will abuse you who will judge you who will disrespect you because you're doing it to yourself so what can i be to have this level of trust this uh, a different level of trust that i've never had before on myself what can i be to have a different level of allowance and non judgment of myself that i've never had before and what can i be to have a different level of gratitude to myself that i've never had before and what can i be to have a different level of intimacy with myself that i've never had before and what can i be to have a different level of vulnerability with myself that i've never had before and everything that does not allow me to know be perceive receive and become this for myself first will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all for all eternity right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots poison yards so i do two things uh, i always see what in me can i change for this to change and it's just feedback if someone comes and says this is not the what you should have done if i get triggered for me it's like okay i have to do some more work i have to do another clearing i have to ask another question i have to respond nothing more don't don't read it as anything more does it make sense superna yeah thank you so much yeah yeah thank you anyone else has yeah one more uh, thing netya on relationships i'm sorry i'm taking your time um uh, anupama you're not taking my time i'm giving you giving it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just extending the call. So, uh, what I meant to, uh, what I wanted to ask is, sometimes in relationships, we are just emotionally impulsive. Like, let's say we are in a situation and we are upset about something. So, someone else who's talking to us is is not being, um, what do you say, fully aware or fully in allowance of us that time. and we say something and they react to it on a like you know they take it personally so what happens is hey you know what uh, you said this to me and this is what so yes yesterday i lost you i thought that hey um, you're such hello yeah go ahead so uh, that the thing that the opposite person is not able to understand my situation and is taking me personally um how does one get over that because what's happening is um in this process two people who are really good uh, friends um will tend to sever the relationship so uh, how does one um stop oneself from doing that like you know if i'm not in the right space how do i be in allowance of someone else's reaction because you know it's their reaction it's got nothing to do with me but we are not able to take it like that no it's you listen to your own words it's their reaction it has nothing to do with you so why should you take it as anything to do with you interesting point of view they have this point of view interesting point of view no no the space this. where uh, yeah but uh, i'm in that space where they uh where what they say i'm not talking about it for myself because uh, i do understand it and um, like i'm on these calls with you uh, so i get to ask my questions and clear my doubts but um, for the opposite person what i say is uh, becomes very personal and very touchy so 
uh, yeah so how they react has nothing to do with you but uh, so we we don't uh, but you can ask what in me can i change for this to change right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots poison plants did you get some awareness and if i can get hurt based on what the other person says again still i don't love myself that much i can still get hurt based on what someone else says so yeah. and we don't have to be hard on ourselves and what can i do? how does it get better than this that will always work for any situation so next time it gets better do let's not uh, and whatever has happened has happened let's not linger in that or contemplate or say i should correct this instead how does it get better what can i be for things between us to get better right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots okay. you can ask those okay. questions and it will okay. start and again yeah. the foundation how much do you love yourself that has to uh, how much are you not acknowledging yourself because if you can acknowledge yourself for the miracle that you are you will not get upset or angry or triggered by what anyone else says because you acknowledge they are also the miracle and them being that infinite miracle this is how they want this is what they would like to choose okay. which is okay i'm okay with their choice let me be okay with everyone's choice that is a way of honoring myself and them if this okay. is what they would choose despite knowing and i know that, that this is available and i know they can also choose it but if they still would like to choose to react this way let me honor their choice it has nothing okay. to do with me and when you honor other people's choice you're actually honoring yourself if you go and say i can help you uh, this is not the way you should react or i don't want to react like this or i should i should make it better especially when another person is involved they are not you you try you don't try to make yourself superior it doesn't work i've tried it many times and i've now i'm over it but you cannot actually help anyone or change anyone's life or anything unless they allow it so if yeah, that is because, what, uh, you generally tend to do that because uh, the uh, person opposite to you is someone you really care for because if it is not someone that you have a bond with you're like a little okay with what's happening but with someone that you really have a bond you wouldn't want the relationship to go bad based on that one instance so you would try if you, if you really care for them you will allow them to be who they are hmm okay so if you really really care for them you will be okay in an allowance of who they are you won't try to change them yeah that's a muscle that i have to build because i when i see two two different people who are like really good friends or also in that situation i want to try to make sense out of the situation and you know try to tell them hey uh, no what i do what what i do is uh, don't try to tell them anything it doesn't work especially yeah. people don't like to hear that you could have done better don't even use this word you could have done this better there's a better choice for you they they hate to hear that they're wrong and everyone yeah. has been uh, you know uh, has been wronged for something or the other in their life so that's not the way what i say is what energetic contribution can i be so that if they choose something this will sort out for them right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots poison yours then i am energetically contributing they don't even know and i don't even get credit for it but if i truly care and i want it to work i can do this yeah so yeah till yesterday that's what i used to do but yesterday when it happened between two good friends yeah that the energetic contribution that i gave which like in like half an hour it it we all got she, back together talking properly see see that's and that's easier no rather than me telling you you should yeah much easier that's yeah. true yeah and then they they don't like to hear it the minute you say uh, uh, you guys don't do this they don't like you which is like let's not give advice to anyone <laughs> correct yeah and i just uh, tell you guys i i questions or suggestions if it's advice also because you are joining the call and i uh, you know and the liberty of that you will listen to me and you don't have to listen to me i'm completely okay with that too but i don't give free advice in all to people let's uh, they they just can't take it and they don't without asking let's not even uh, go there it's be, it's it always helps to be an energetic contribution and if they ask definitely we can take them to wherever they would like yeah okay thank you okay guys i think we're over time uh, any last questions can i ask nitya i always yes. ask last questions namrita here on different from different phone okay quickly uh, nitya thank you so much i mean this last energetic contribution is just amazing i just loved it and uh, okay not taking too much of time uh, uh, so i have started applying all these questions and uh, even though things materialize things and what if things happens in a it's an 
bit so like i'm trying to have an independent uh, uh independent like kind of uh, since i have you know since because of the scallop thing and also i'm just trying to have this thing materialize i started with free coaching for people and all but how to get it instead of getting it materialized in tits and pieces in tits and bits how to have it done in like full fledgedly if you can if can i, I ask you a question can, yeah how can i when you were a baby or did you learn to crawl and then walk and then eat or did you just learn everything just like that made sense <laughs> <laughs> so even one step forward is forward that is how it will materialize and for for someone to you know come to that level of uh, creating something it has to go step by step if i when i created my business i had to give it a name first i had to work with one or two clients first i had to so it 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 goes that way so instead of that what can i acknowledge what can i be to acknowledge all the small changes that i'm making that is going to turn into something greater and what can i be to dynamically exponentialize my business in faster and better ways than i can imagine right wrong good bad pot pot all nine choice poisonous we can ask this but the universe will show you the actions to get there and it could be as small as doing a free call for someone because they are going to uh, get you your clients we don't know just follow your awareness don't decide that this is too small and this is big this is a judgment like in the how to become money workbook um who said the gary had it and who said that a rich person has a better life than a pauper is just a judgment the rich person is also worrying about paying taxes the pauper is actually maybe more happier not worrying about money so it is all judgment in our head saying that this is small i'm not yet big i've not yet got there and this will stop it if you that that is your underlying point of view instead focus on i'm so grateful that i've started i'm so grateful on this first step when you're grateful for that first step things will exponentialize bigger things will happen and gratitude is the best energy to change anything as what anything you can even be grateful for your enemies then you don't have to think of them you're free of them so and and it does take steps it is not like i can get from here to here you can get the universe will help you you can get very fast to where you want to go but there is some some steps to be taken so follow your awareness whatever feels makes you feel really good thank you thank you. yes sangeeta did you have a question i thought i heard your voice no nitya thank you okay okay uh, have a great week people i'll send the recording so listen to this again and have a great have lots of fun thank you nitya thank you lot Bye. thank you so yeah. much nitya thanks nitya okay thank you so much ma'am bye